Hey, it's Cody with DRP. Today we're going to talk about the Hump Defender, what it is, and what does it do. So let's first talk about the scenario of not using a hub defender. Um, so when you're installing new bearings or maybe even a new hub uh, to your uh, street car, your race car, your trailer, uh, whatever the application may be, the industry standard is to take the spindle nut, tighten it down, and back it off until the hub is free or back it off until you can get the cotter pin in the uh, castle nut or maybe even whatever your, your locking mechanism that you may be using um, so that the hub still spins free, um, isn't locked down and, and creating a lot of extra drag. The issue with that is that uh, if you are running camber in the front end of the car or if it's on a trailer, as soon as the vehicle or the application is put down on the ground, the load is applied to the tires which creates a force on the bearing that rotates or cocks the bearing around. And what, what happens is that we end up running off the top edge of the roller. Uh, so the force or the load isn't applied to the outer edge of the rollers or the face of the rollers here uh, evenly. And what this can cause is this can cause excessive wear, this can cause excessive heat, this can cause excessive friction, um, uh, which you know kills the life of the hub or the hub assembly um, can even cause hub failures as you see on uh, your your campers rvs race trailers boats and so what we're doing is we're applying a spacer that goes in between the inner and outer bearings now why is this important so what we're doing is we're establishing the link that needs that is required for the hub assembly. Uh, so each hub, each race, each bearing, they all have variances in the tolerance. So this hub uh, defender is adjustable. So that it's length adjustable. So you can shorten, lengthen, depending on the application or depending on the hub. Um, we can extend this to get the spacing correct so that the bearing stays seated in the race we're not shoving the bearing further through, causing it to push on the top edge of the roller, causing, um, uh, causing drag, causing heat. What we're able to do is keep it in the correct place that it's supposed to run on the race of the bearing itself. Once you have the, the spacing properly set, we can tighten this thing down, spin the hub, and it's going to spin just as free as if you were to back the spin on and off. But here's the difference. When the car or trailer is set on the ground, there's no, there's no force cocking the uh, bearing, causing it to run on the outer edge because now we are able to keep the bearing parallel to one another. So the face of each bearing is gonna run parallel. This causes a massive reduction in friction, um, which, which reduces your heat, which improves the roll speed of the car or increases the fuel mileage of the vehicle uh, depending on you know what what you're worried about increases the horsepower or frees up horsepower in the vehicle uh, so that you're able to get the maximum performance out of the hub application as previously said we have these spacers these hub defenders for all kinds of applications we have them for rvs we have them for campers we have them for race cars, sports cars, tractor trailers, enclosed trailers, you name it. If you don't see your application on our website, please be sure to check out our custom bearing spacer form. Fill that out, shoot it over to us, and we'll be in contact with you on getting you a spacer for your application. Thanks for joining, and that's an overview of our Hub Defenders.